Hey y'all. So today I wanted to make a video for you guys. Um, today I'm filming a video of TV shows you guys should watch. Um, right now, Brandon and I are binge watching a bunch of TV shows every single day. Um, we do different shows, everything like that. And I have all of them in this notebook right here. This is our list. It's two pages long and I wanted to share it with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. So there's roughly 60 different shows in this. So we'll start from the very top. Pretty Little Liars. I love this show. Watched it two times completely through. Next is Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I feel like everybody raves about Grey's Anatomy, but what can I say? It's just good to watch. Um, next is Riverdale. Next is Outer Banks. Um, I love Outer Banks. I just watched the second season and whoa, was that so freaking good. Next we have Loki. We have not watched Falcon and Winter Soldier yet, but that's my second one. Um, so some of these on the list obviously we haven't watched before. So it's like you guys could watch them with us because we're gonna spend the next however long it takes to watch all of these. Next we have House of Anubis. And if you guys were ever Nickelodeon fans back in like 2009 to 2012, I think is around what time it came out. Um, it's like a British um, show, but it was on Nickelodeon for three seasons and we actually just finished that this morning. Okay. Next is Jane the Virgin. I've watched this already and we're about to watch it a second time through because Brandon hasn't seen it. Next is Breaking Bad. Brandon and I have not seen this, but we hear so many good things about it. So we're pretty excited to watch it. 911. I love the series. 911 is so good. Next is 911 Lone Star. And I love this one too. I love Rob Lowe. So I recommend this one. Vampire Diaries. I watched this when I was younger before Brennan and I got together and I just miss it. I want to watch it again. So we're going to watch it again. Then we have The Big Bang Theory. We both watched this with our parents when we were younger, but we want to watch it together. Then we have the originals because it kind of ties in with Vampire Diary. Uh, Young Sheldon. Then we have The Fosters. Then we have The Rookie. Then we have Gossip Girl. And I did watch one season of this and I really liked it, but I don't know what like why I didn't get back into it. Next we have SWAT and I hear a lot of good things about SWAT. Next is Bones and I've seen half of Bones. Next is The Ranch. It's actually based out of Colorado and it's literally like an hour and a half from where we live. Next is Secret Life of the American Teen. Then we have Friends and we both love Friends but we just wanna watch the whole thing in order. Next we have New Girl. Next we have Criminal Minds and I'm really excited about this one because everyone raves about it. Then we have 13 Reasons Why. Chicago Fire, Chicago Med, and Chicago PD. Then we have Parks and Rec, which I've seen a couple episodes here and there. Then we have This Is Us. Then we have Once Upon a Time. Then we have The Office, which neither one of us have ever seen. So we're really excited to see it. I heard it's really funny. Uh, Turner and Hooch. Then we have The Flash, which was what Brandon chose. I've never seen it. Then we have Shit's Creek. Then Station 19. Then we have Supergirl. Um, then we have The Resident, which my grandma also told us that we should watch, so I'm excited. Uh, Brandon picked How I Met Your Mother. I picked Under the Dome. Then we have Longmire, which I have no idea what this is. Um, then we have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, then we have The Walking Dead, which I have watched the first five seasons of The Walking Dead. Then we have Switched at Birth, which I watched the first season of this, and I don't know, I don't think I ever really got into it, so I want to try it again. Then we have American Horror Story, and this one's really hard because out of all of these, this is the most scary. Then we have Manifest. Uh, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, have no idea what that is. Then we have Seal Team, and I think that it has the guy from Bones. NCIS, and we have NCIS LA. And then we have NCIS New Orleans, which I actually watched three seasons of this one, so I'm excited. Hawaii Five-0, which I watched with my grandma when I lived with her. Next we have Raising Hope. Then we have Young and Hungry. Then we have Glee, and Glee, if I have to say one of my favorite things ever, was Glee. My mom and I watched it. This was my mom and I's show. Like I watched a lot of shows with my mom, but also like her fiance and um, my brothers and stuff. But Glee was our show. We watched it on the dot when it came out every single season. I have seen everything. So I love Glee and I want Brandon to watch it. Then we have Charmed. Then we have Resident Alien, which I heard is funny, but 
we have no idea what it is. Then we have Two Broke Girls and both of us have seen this. I've seen majority of it because my mom. Last but not least is Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Brandon and I have watched this entire series. Love Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Alrighty. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I just wanted to share this with you because it's something that we're doing right in present time. We're watching these shows together every single day. And I pretty much set it in the order that we're gonna watch it. Yeah, and we're just gonna continue watching them for as long as we can until we need to like take a break and like start watching more movies or like YouTube or whatever. So I do hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!